Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a new video. I'm working on a 2013 Honda Civic right here. And I'm going to show you how you can get the leather when it looks like this to look like this. So we're going to go from this to that. Right? Really easy. I got 3D. This is a 3D all-purpose cleaner from 3D. And this is a horsehair brush from Chemical Guys. Um, I used some basic masking tape for boxing. Like if you're boxing up something. And we're going to get all this junk off. Very simple. Very easy process. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind here. When you're doing this type of... Uh, uh, this type of uh, detail. Um, this car hasn't ever been detailed. Never. Uh, <laughs> the client told me that this hasn't been detailed in over 7 years since, since it was bought new. So... That's uh, no, <laughs> that, that's not good. Um, so that's why this leather looks the way it is. Um, I mean, so I'm attacking it with a bazooka. Um, I'm using an all-purpose cleaner right away. Um, diluted one to three, uh, one to four. So one part um, degrees or four parts water. So it's pretty aggressive. You can go to one to ten. Depending on what um, all-purpose cleaner. Um, sometimes if it's really bad, I go to degreaser. This, I'm getting away with the results I want with this, this all-purpose cleaner. So, I'm going to stick with that. But just keep that in mind. There's other ways you can go about this. Sorry, you got to touch up a little spot. Um, and just be very careful when you're doing this. Um, and also, I explained to this client that underneath... Sometimes you'll expose worse damage because um, the dirt will fill in a lot of uh, cracks and stuff and it'll hide the actual finish of it. So, just explain that ahead of time. So that's what I did. Um, but as you can tell overall, I mean for a car of 70,000 miles, you're going to expect this stuff in the seat. So, I mean that's the passenger side that I haven't touched yet. So, nothing... I haven't been too surprised. I mean, I haven't done this part yet, but nothing's um, turning out like I didn't expect it to. So it's, it's it's going well. So let's go ahead and let me show you how you can get these same results. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a little bit of my all-purpose cleaner straight onto the horsehair brush right here. Just a little bit. Um, maybe six pumps and make sure um, sometimes when you use a certain uh, all-purpose cleaner uh, if it's too strong you can actually um, be chasing your own tail and it actually can stain the seat and you're gonna have to keep going back and it's a huge hassle um, so that's why I always like to spread it onto a brush or to a towel so you don't have to you don't make a mess so I'm gonna do this side right here and just slowly work it in, letting it agitate just like this. Um, go ahead, keep agitating it. Actually, I need a little bit more product, so I'm going to reapply it. Um, make sure, yep, and just I like to do a little bit more the most. You just want to do small sections at a time. Um, I know what, I just did the other seat, so I already know I can work this area. It's also a lot colder today, so the product will not dry. So I'm not worried about anything. So. Take my towel, clean it up. On this seat, I'm gonna to have to go again. Um, I'd rather do two steps, um, do this twice than once, so that way um, I'm going to be going easier on it. So again, same step, reapply it onto here, work it in. You can use a drill attachment if you want to, the, this horsehair brush though is only like $9, I think it's very reasonable. And it's soft, so you're able to work it in really, really well. Right. 
Then again, buff it off, just like before. I could do it one more time. Um, Cause right here, it's, there's just so much dirt. And it, again, I'd rather do a little bit more steps than um, just going straight into it. And probably a stronger cleaner would have helped a little bit. But I'm very familiar with this all-purpose cleaner. So. Kind of getting under my line a little bit. But that looks really good. Wow, that is amazing. So I'll bring you in over here and I'll show you what this looks like real quick. Alright. Alright. And here is how it looks at the end. Look at the difference between these two. That's just amazing. So, all dirty, clean. And then you can go over with your favorite. I'm going to do uh, the. Leather serum from Chemical Guys, put that on there, let it soak in, and hopefully give it a little bit more protection for the next seven years. So, but that's how it's going to look. If you like this video, don't forget to give me uh, give it a thumbs up, um, share it, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you again for watching. Hope you have a great day, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a new video. I'm working on a 2013 Honda Civic right here, and as you can tell, I'm going to show you how to get the leather to look like this, when you have to start with this. So it's going to go from this right here, and we're going to go to this. What I'm going to be using right here is an all-purpose cleaner. This is from, um, honestly, I can't remember who makes this one.